<laughs> so most of you have experienced fennel when it comes to cooking. So if you're out at a restaurant, a lot of restaurants will garnish their meats with the green leafy part of the fennel plant. And if you're Italian, we're used to cooking with the actual fennel seeds, which is exactly where we distill our fennel essential oil from. However, the fennel plant itself is from the carrot family, which is super interesting and super cool. Yeah, the major molecule of fennel is called a phenolic ester. And you've heard us talk about esters when it, in other calming essential oils, like lavender is very high in esters as well. But historically, in ancient Greece and in ancient Roman times, they used to prepare garlands of the fennel plant and award this garland to victorious soldiers coming off the battlefield because they believed that it bestowed strength and courage and longevity to the lives of these soldiers. Totally reminds me of a vampire when you wear the garlic plant, you know? Yeah, to ward off kind of, but not really. Not the same thing. <laughs> Anyways. Fennel oil is one of those things where you either love it or you you really you really don't. It is very distinct in a black liquor, licorice aroma and taste. Although the taste is super sweet and mild compared to the actual black licorice, it just reminds me of it. It smells like it. I'm not a black licorice fan, but I'm going to tell you something. It is totally worth it. Yeah, in fact, my dad used to be addicted to Mike and Ike's, you know, those little <laughs> candy-coated synthetic black licorice candies. So we replaced that with fennel mm -hmm. because it still satisfies that craving that he has for black licorice, even though fennel has no relation to the licorice family. It's more in the carrot family. However, the aroma, yeah. the flavor is very, very similar. Because of the calming aspect of fennel essential oil, there was a uh, 2003 study that was done with 121 colicky babies. And what they found was that fennel essential oil versus placebo was very effective at reducing the symptoms of colic. And how they administered and applied the oil, they would apply the oil three drops topically over the belly of the babies four times a day. So if you have an infant, if you have a, a little one who has digestive issues, is colicky at all, then fennel is a great oil to use as a solution to those types of problems. Right, and we all have digestive issues to some degree. And like I talked about in our coriander video, if you haven't watched it yet, I'm gonna go over the blend that I like to make for my digestion issues. So fennel is super, super high in the molecule that helps support a healthy digestion. I like to do 50 drops of coriander, 40 drops of fennel, 40 drops of cardamom, fill the rest up of a 10 milliliter roller bottle with fractionated coconut oil, the tummy tamer, it's in my purse, it goes everywhere I go. Yeah, we pull it, she pulls it out after she eats a lot of Restaurant. times and just rubs it on. <laughs> The aromatic influence of fennel essential oil is very, again, like we were talking about all the calming aspects. So one of our favorite diffuser blends of fennel, we don't diffuse it often, actually hardly ever, but when we do diffuse it, we combine it with lavender because you get that high ester content of both fennel and lavender. If you're an essential oil user right now and you're using fennel essential oil, I want you guys to comment below your favorite uses of this essential oil. And we're gonna yeah. choose two or three winners where we're gonna send you a bottle of our fennel essential oil. So comment below your favorite uses. If you are not using essential oils right now, but you are being very intrigued and interested in starting to experience these benefits, Go ahead and comment below as well. We will hook you up. We will get you set up with an account with Essential Oils so you can start experiencing the benefits. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll talk to you next time.